you guys and welcome to the channel if you're new don't be So do you think that you still would have had the relationship with him if he got help? No, the relationship, okay. it wasn't a relationship. That was a rape. Mm -hmm. I was underage. I was too young. I was victimized. So, I, I said that on purpose because, you know, that's what they say. That was a relationship. Not taking into consideration you guys were underage. But thank you for that. So, yeah, no relationship. I always <laughs> say that was a rape. When you're watching with... Um, I don't know, Jane Doe that's going to come up in the trial this, in Chicago. Um, you're, we you're, know watching, who we're wa uh, you're, ra you're watching a rape. That's mm -hmm. not a relationship. That's the problem with people and their frame of minds and how they think. Oh, that was a relationship. It was a manipulation is what it was. Mm -hmm. He's the biggest manipulator. That's why he went on Gail King because he thought that if he pleaded with his fan, pleaded with the world, and do all this bullshit that people are gonna be like, oh, you know, feel sorry for him. Yo, the clock is up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, in the book, from what we where we uh, were able what they to read in the chat, what are they saying in the chat? Oh, you want to see what they say in the chat? They, oh, that baby, they, we got you over here, Mama. You already know. So one question, which um, actually somebody already addressed, and you did as well. Somebody asked, "Did you did you get called to the stand?" Oh, and I addressed we, that already. But yeah, you know, she already addressed it. She God works in mysterious ways because I was really like it's in the book. It explains how my mental frame was, emotional frame was. I was prepared to go. Um, they thought I was gonna go, and I was ready to go. But you know, I don't know honestly how that would have affected me emotionally i'm not even sure i think i would have vomited on the stand like i don't want to see his face so like god does what he has to do well when I was know, the last no time that you what, saw him before huh? that before that when was the last time that you saw him eons ago years ago like 20 some years ago so so you the, the, actually the say last, that it would have did something to you the last time that i saw him is in the book and nobody knows but if you read the book you'll know okay Okay. Well, you know, it's a I very, it's a, it's a really crazy, crazy story. Okay. You know, All right. well, you, you, you know, I'm gonna read the book, but that tells me right there that what we've been hearing about how people were reacting to seeing him after years. Yes. With no lie. Like, no, I, I don't, I don't think it would have been very good for me to, to, to honestly see him. Um, because just hearing the testimony of five, Jane Doe five, Jane Doe five brought, me, Clary. brought me a lot. It was a lot of the similar story. Matter really? when I was 17, the sexual humiliation, the things that he would make me do, you know, it's all in that in Jane Doe nine book. But, you know, I don't want to give everything away because like okay. I said, the money's going to my nonprofit. And that's why I'm pleading with people to buy it. It's been doing really, really well, and I hope it continues. But my point is this, that I was getting, like, flashbacks of the things that happened to me. And some of the things I put in the back of my mind that I've kind of put to, to and I've kind of tried to bury it. And when I was read, listening to you uh, read the transcripts and BNC and all these things I was hearing, I was, like, taken back to those days. And trust triggering. me, it was it was very triggering. It was really triggered. So I don't know. And let me tell you something. I am very proud of every person that this, that went on the stand and had told their truth. I don't know how they did it. I commend them. They're warrior women and men. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Well, I commend you. Like I said, it's funny how they chastise and get on you guys for the book writing, but they don't get no, no shade. Well, whatever. The little white girls that get the money, that get the book deals, that get the, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the situations that they're in. But the people of color, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to die up under a rock somewhere. You're not supposed to live life. You're not supposed to move forward. And that is so ridiculous to me. This is It's ridiculous. It's the mentality of our culture. Yeah. Okay. 
unfortunately, it was us fast girls. We're fast girls. When you're 17, walking in the mall, and you have no real sexual experience or any no relationship ever, it's my fault. You know, I'm guilty until he's he's found guilty. Then maybe I'm not guilty, but then I'm still guilty. Mm-hmm. You don't really cut. You don't catch a break here and life for me has not been easy period okay and i'm not cry baby but what i'm saying is like it got worse when i came out and i didn't really have to get involved i'm gonna keep it 1000 percent here i heard the yeah. parents crying i can't see my daughter i remember my parents kind of like going through that but my parents didn't know in the beginning my parents were not enablers or my parents were not stage mom like Oh, we're gonna get my daughter. We're gonna get my daughter up there. Nah, nah, nah. My parents weren't like that. My parents were very on point. He was the one that was easy to manipulate me and say, "Oh, your parents are not gonna understand. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna do this, but you can't tell you because your parents, you know, like they're older. They're not gonna understand. They're gonna think this is weird." I was just like listening to everything that he was telling me because, like, to me, he was like gonna be my mentor. So, like, when I came out, I I just went through the whole story in my head. I said, "I gotta do something." to validify what these parents are saying. I can't see my daughter. My daughter doesn't call me. I went through all of those things. So I Mm -hmm. came out to like help them and to be like a face for joy and for Asriel to see like that shit ain't going nowhere. Like Mm -hmm. this happened to me too. And that's Mm -hmm. the reason why I came out, period. There was no, I had a beautiful life. Read the book. I didn't need to get involved in this. It wasn't for money. What money? I made more money on my own, doing my own stuff. I didn't need anyone to a lifetime to give me a thousand dollars to make my life. Get out of here. Get over there. Get out. Bye. Next. You guys are both you and Asriel are both from Florida. Yeah, so, we're both from Florida. We were both eerie. aspiring singers. We were both seventeen, 17. years old. We both really wanted to make it in the industry. We both came from good parents because I, you know, I've met those parents. And I know that they love their daughter. Or I'm not going to get into anything else besides that. My interaction mm-hmm. with that family, with the parents, is that they love their daughter and they really try to fight for her. And that's my opinion on it. And that's what I saw. And I'm not going to go any more further than that. So when I heard, especially when I heard Tim and jo- and Jonjolin, you know, those are my friends too. I can't see my daughter. My daughter was trying to be a singer. My daughter was in college. My daughter was a, a loved her family. And then all of a sudden, there's no call. Dead silence, crickets. Like, that's not normal. That's a, that's an unhealthy situation. I don't care if she said, yes, I want to stay. But you have to understand domestic violence and the gaslighting that goes on. It went on with me. Oh, your friends, I don't want you. They start alienating you. From everyone, anyone that loves you, they don't want the, that person around. That's what he does. That's the truth. I think it was the uh, the first chapter, or it could be the uh, the prelude. But um, you were stating that you wish you would have kept the paper yeah. that he wrote the number on. Uh, you know, there was a time in 2000. 15 so it wasn't that long ago where i went through all my stuff in my apartment and my paperwork and everything and i was like you know what i don't need this shit anymore i had the little paper with the name i had other moment mementos i had the stuffed animals i had and you know what i didn't want to keep that stuff like it had been in there for years and i just wanted to like completely rid myself from that past and i just threw everything away. And the only reason why I say I wish I would have kept it, not because I'm tied to him, is because to show people proof, proof, okay, and checks, check stuff, which the the feds have that, but I don't have it personally. Like, I have them, Mm -hmm. but, you know, the the financial exchange, um, I wish I would have had all that stuff to put on a damn, you know, I don't know, on your channel, look, like, leave me alone. You know what I mean? That's the only, and that's sad to even have to think like, damn, I couldn't even get rid of shit that I didn't even really want in my life anymore because today I, you know, I could have shown them. So I'm not a lot, like that's so much stress. Right. 
Mm-hmm. But it's okay, you know, like we're living in today, so I'm thankful. My vibration is very high today. That's why I'm a little bit animated. No, I, I love it. You know me. <laughs> you know your girl. So, you know, we're gonna get we we're gonna get out of this. It's gonna get very fun here shortly, but I just yeah. want to get all of this out and allow you to have a safe space. This is a safe space. Thank um, you. you say how you feel, and I dare somebody to come and say something. Okay, we don't play over here. We 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 got you guys. We support you. We know the truth. I mean, um, it's one shirt that I got. Common sense ain't common because it ain't. Um, it's like you can read the truth. You know what? Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something that I think is very important. Okay. I don't care that they support Robert. Like, that doesn't, I don't care. That's none of my business. That's who you want to support. That's who you love, whatever. Right. But what I care about is like the, the victim shaming. Mm-hmm. That goes on. And like, I'm really built for it. But, you know, there was a point there that I wasn't like, I'm strong today. And I'm, you know, I'm better today than I was in 2018 when the film came out. But there's other younger girls that I worry about. You know what I mean? Like, I worry about their psyche and what they're going through, because I'm like, I'm older. And I'm, you know, I've been through a lot in my life, so I can only, it's affecting me this way. I could, I wonder how it's affecting, like, they should just leave them alone. Like, right. leave those girls, leave us alone, you know, leave, especially them, like, whatever, come after me, whatever, but leave them alone. Like, they have their whole life ahead of them, and this is not good. It's not, mm-hmm. it's not good for anyone, spirit. Right. So have you talked to any of the, um, the victims, now we can say victims, uh, since um, the the verdict has been served, um, I spoke to Lisa Van Allen, and um, I spoke to another victim that I know. I'm not gonna say which Jane Doe it is, but nobody knows who she is. Mm. But she was uh, she was she was on the stand, and I and 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 the funny thing is, is that this vic not the funny thing, but the weird thing about this is that. I, she reached out to me back in 2018 when the film came out and we became like close friends. And so, and but I never disclosed her to anyone and I won't mm-hmm. tonight, but you know, I spoke to her briefly after. Wow. Okay. Wow. I, I would say that this and what people had to realize because I had to explain this and maybe you can confirm this. Um, I but, I mean, I don't know if you crossed paths with any of them because I know that you said Lisa and you guys were kind of like overlapping, if you will. Um, but um, from what we read at the beginning of it, I know you had a, a your friend. Are you guys still close to this day? Yes. My best friend, Michelle. Yeah. Yeah, we've been friends since we were 12. Wow. So she still hanged in there. So she hung in there. But yeah, she knows Rob. She knows all that whole story. Wow. Mm-hmm. But we're still wow. friends. That's my sister. No matter right. what we go through something or not, or when we stop, you know, whatever. You know how friends, they go up and down sometimes. We look, but like, that's my soul sister. And, and she we've been rocking since we were 12 little jits. Right. Yeah. So um, I know you were listening in regards to the trial and stuff like that uh, because you were here. Did you hear about him like playing the piano and stuff and mouthing his music and stuff? I mean, I think he's mentally ill. So, I mean, he's mentally he's not all right there. He's not a, he's not a, he's not a normal per obviously he's not a normal person. So he, he didn't take he didn't take trial very seriously. He may have been medicated. I don't know. I don't know what he does, but maybe he just feels like he's a narcissist that he is and thought that like, oh, I'm going to get out of this. I'm the musical genius, so I can do whatever I want during trial. So there you go. You did whatever you want. Now you're not coming out. What up, everybody? Whitney D here of Whitney D TV, and we are finally here to celebrate a milestone of 5K. I'm super, super excited to say the least. And I couldn't be more honored to celebrate this with the Witness Gang. Gang. We can't just celebrate. We have to turn up and we have to do it in a creative way because your girl is creative, okay? So not for nothing, December 17th, here on Whitney D TV, we will have a celebration, okay? But with that celebration comes the Witness Secret Santa. I am bringing you guys by way of Elster.com 
the Witness Secret Santa. I am so excited to be able to do a virtual Secret Santa with you guys, okay? Now, it's very easy, okay? Here are the steps, all right? First and foremost, you're gonna to wanna to click the link that's in the description box, okay, to sign up. And you will be uh, directed to elster.com where you'll be able to sign up and they'll obtain all your information and it will be anonymous to your Secret Santa, okay? And vice versa, okay? Not for nothing from there, you will send off your gift or the list that they curate for you guys by way of getting information for your Secret Santa. You can just grab from there and they'll do everything for you. It's just that simple. I'm so excited to do this Secret Witness, okay? Not for nothing, once you ship everything off, do not open it. Don't open anything that you receive until December 17th, okay? Now, the deadline is November 30th. Yes, you have to the end of the month, sign up for the Secret Witness, okay? I'm excited to see you guys, and stay tuned, because December 17th, I have some awesome, awesome secrets and goodies that we are going to embark on together in celebration of my 5K, okay? Thank you guys so very much. I'm Whitney D, and I'm excited to see what Secret Santa gets me. Bye, you guys. What up, what up everybody? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, don't be. And I mean that, don't be. Go ahead and click that subscribe button to be a part of the Witness Gang to join the Witness Nation. Now, I am here to let you guys know we are now accepting members. Let me stop stunning. We, we've been accepting members, but I'm here to tell you more information about the memberships, okay? It's just better here. Why not become a member and support your girl on a month-to-month -month basis, okay? Now, we have four different tiers that you can choose from. There'll probably be somewhere over here, okay? Not for nothing, we have Out of the Bushes for $1.99 a month, okay? Then, and then you can become a witness member. $3.99 a month, you can't beat that, okay? Now, if you wanna take it up a notch and become a witness gang, gang, gang member, just $9.99 a month, okay? Now, I see you, you wanna go even further. That's great, okay? Become a Witness Nation member at $19.99, okay? Now, all these proceeds go back into the channel, okay? I pride myself on doing due diligence to give you guys best quality product and content, okay? So if you love what you see here on Wendy DTV and you wanna keep it going, make sure you become a member like right now, like today, like go do it now, okay? Comes with a lot of different perks like um, members only chats and member only videos and getting updates and exclusive information before anybody does, okay? So what are you waiting for? Go become a member like now. Bye.